Oi, no fucking spoilers. <laughs> I did us. How you doing? Hey, Rocket, how you doing? You're such a little shit, Tidders. Honestly. <clears throat> yes, I saw the, the photograph of your lunch slash brunch. Oh my god, that looked lovely. Uh, I'm okay. I'm... I'm still a little still a little rough but I think I'll be okay with Inspector Waffles today hello Val how you doing hey Ash how you doing On that note, before I get started, um, oh Ash, big hugs, friend. If there's anything we can do, let us know, okay? Yeah, well, I'm uh, in my summer garb again, um, as you can just sort of see. Um, yeah, anybody that like us is in the middle of a heatwave right now. Make sure you've got something to drink. Stay hydrated. Did win 98 set up for seven hours. And if it plotted against me, so I decided on another tactic. Nice bloody anyway. hell, Val. You must have the patience of a bloody saint. Well done. Hey, Grox, how you doing? <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, it's 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 a bit warm around here at the minute. I microwave the fucking CD. That's fair, Val. I don't blame you. <laughs> God, I've not had to think about Windows ninety eight for, well, a while since you know since Windows ninety eight was a thing. Yeah, true, it is true. 20C is average. Uh, we've got, around here, we've not got a cloud in the sky at the minute. Um, and the sun is beating down. It's supposed to only be about 19, but it feels like about 25. It's awful. <laughs> Anywho. Uh, I I'm okay, Grox. I'm okay. And surviving. Okie dokie, Rocket. Well, I hope you have a good time with your grandparents. I'm grumpy at anything below 25C. Wow, Ash. Do you, do you want to, like, take what's going on outside then? Because uh, that should keep you happy for a little bit. Yeah, same here, Tidders. Uh, I think I mentioned it last night. Um, we live in an old concrete build which annoyingly keeps all the heat in in the summer and lets all the heat out in the winter. I was born in the wrong country. Fair. <laughs> That's not surprising, Tidders. Okay. So. Uh... Why have I got two saves? with the same date and timestamp. Oh wow, Ash. That does sound kind of cool though. I think the room is around 27 right now. Fuck it, hell, Val. I'd be melting. I've got the window open, um, so hopefully I won't completely melt. Okay, I have no idea why I have two saves with the same date. We'll just go with that one. 
So, um, hang on a second. Poor Thos. Stop it. I know the outside world is amazing and stuff, but you like need to chill out a bit. Yeah. He's looking up at the window um, and screaming out into the void. I mean, I can't say I blame him, but uh, it's rather distracting. Do you want to come and sit with me? Will that make you feel better? Come on then, baby. <laughs> Careful. There we go. Let's get some more Porthos in this camera. A little more. There we go. Be a good boy. Yeah. Hey, Danny, how you doing? Nice Irish for you. Become a Grand Supreme Empress. It all gets torn down and I spread the... Yep, fair play, Ash. Fair play. Okay, so. Previously on Inspector Waffles, um, we may have found who M is, which is a great start. We've um, been to visit... Um, Uh, Waffles's partner in the hospital, whose name I've forgotten yet again. He seemed nice though. Um, and learned some more. Um, learned some more um, information about Snowball. There we go. The evil mastermind. Um, and I think the case is drawing to a close now. I think. I might be wrong. Hey, Porthos. Might be wrong. <laughs> Do you mind? Right. So. We've got to go to, got the thing in here, a cotton candy shop. Can I look at that? No, apparently not. Oh, we've still got a single use on that magnet as well. I wonder what we're going to end up using it for. Okay. Off we go. Pancakes was his name. Wonder if he was always called that. Or was named something else before falling. <gasps> Dude. Dude. Harsh. I'm glad you enjoyed your lunch, Sitters. Hey, DMAC, how you doing? Okay. So, we're going to the cotton candy shop of the cat we believe to be responsible. No? Not responsible. We're going to the cotton candy shop of Snowball's twin brother. Who we think might actually be Snowball. We're here, Spotty. The neighbourhood is run down now, but... This is the place. A cotton candy shop that Mallow used to run. Seems to have been abandoned for quite some time now, but I can still smell sugar from all the way out here. Huh. You can smell cotton candy on an old flyer stowed away in an unused office. Imagine how strong the smell will be once we're inside. The door is locked, and I won't pretend like I can smash down this metal door. Maybe if I were the action movie star Spike, then I could do anything. Gotta find the door key somewhere. I like the, uh, the little ratos using the climbing tree. Bet one of the pigeons has it. Yeah, that, that would be a very, um... The Sam and Max thing to happen, wouldn't it? Let's 
see what else we've got. Oh! Oh, and he's gone in for the snuggle. <laughs> yes, Ash! Yes, it is. That is Maple, who is basically Cat Trump. Everywhere you go, everywhere you look, campaign posters. Yeah, I know, Ash. I mean, it it's a really clever little thing they've done with Maple. Um, but yeah, having had to actually interact with the character last stream, um, he's definitely Trump Cat. Make him a slug or something. <laughs> Oh yeah, Maple's actually capable of stringing a sentence together, which is, you know, a, a big improvement on the source material. Assuming Maple's gone bankrupt six or more times. Uh, it looks like Maple's actually um, a reasonably shrewd businessman as well, which is impressive. Okay, so... Shop's been closed for a long time. I wonder where Mallow could be now. Oh, a key just over there. Need to be careful not to cut myself on the broken window pane. <laughs> just sitting right fucking there, right in front of me. I like slugs. Slugs are cool. I mean, they're a nuisance in the garden. And if they get into your house, they're a pain in the ass. but I think they're cool. You are sticking your claw into my thigh, and that's really uncomfortable. Excuse me a second, folks. This is why you sort your thresholds. That and to keep the demons out. Fair enough, Ash. Okay. Nice, got it. I'll call it a win if this key goes in the main door. It's not going to, is it? Hey, Buff, how you doing today, friend? It'd be too easy if this key went into that door, right? It fits. I'll take my lucky break. Door is unlocked, no trouble at all. Are we? Going inside? Yeah, we don't need a warrant or anything. You ready? Shouldn't we check around out here for some more before going inside? Where it's dark? Spotty, are you afraid of the dark? No. Yes. I, I mean, a little bit. But I just don't want you missing any clues or items for the investigation or more wall ball cards. Of course, Spotty. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, Spotty is a soft baby. For the record, he doesn't like the dark either. But he's, uh... There we go. Oh yeah, season 14's interesting, Ash. It gets steadily wackier as the series goes on. Oh no, there's loads of it, Titters. I think um, the last time I paid any real attention to what was going on was when they had Paris Hilton on and I was just like, you know what? <laughs> what? <laughs> So this is where we are now. This is the timeline we're in. Yeah, um... Quantity, quality, etc. Yep, yep. Imagine a world where pigeons evolved instead of cats. Would they accept us as pets? Or would they remember being hunted by felines in prehistoric times? Oh, buff, that sounds lush. Oh, 
Another climbing tree. And again, full of rats. They seem to love those trees more than kittens. Oh, a wall ball card on the tree. So there is. Yeah, it, it's a lot of fun in spite of being really fucking silly at times. And yeah, so, some of the characters are a bit... Um, I grab it, but there's a rat right next to it guarding the card like a treasure. <laughs> I mean, you would, wouldn't you? Rather not be attacked by a rat. I should lure it away from the card with something. Oh, fuck! <clears throat> that made me jump. Hey, Duke, how you doing? Thank you so much for being subscribed for seven months. Fucking hell. <clears throat> yeah, me too, Ash. Me too. I'm sorry about that. <sighs> Actually, I um I relinquished my subwoofer to um the TV in the bedroom. <laughs> Thanks, it is. Okay, let's uh, let's see what we've got to lure the rat away with. Could we just dump a cloth on it? Eh. Alive, Duke. Alive. Let your heart and your neighbours know about your subscription. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> Bravo. That's fair, Ash. I get that. not working. Uh, it's not working. Okay. Um, maybe we have to get something from inside the store then. Oopsie titters. Have you got time to do it now? Feeling better than yesterday. I'm glad to hear that buff. Very glad to hear that. They used to do green cotton candy and I want to know what flavour it is because the only time I've ever had green cotton candy it was absinthe flavoured. And it was great. Inspector? Yeah? Why does this place not look abandoned from the inside? I'm wondering the same thing. It's in pretty good shape. But there's no indication from the outside that the shop is reopening. Green is lime, typically. Uh, absinthe is better. Yes, titters. Um, okay. Quick story time. I live in the city that has the space centre in it. So occasionally, we go to the space centre because it's fun. Um... Also, it means I get to watch um, Georges Méliès as the uh, Voyage to the Moon on a big screen because they uh, have a, a little section where they just play it on repeat and I'm a big fan of Méliès, so... Um, get nice and moist. But they do right special way. events at the Space Centre and one of the events that they do every year, normally, um, is steampunks in space, or as I like to call it, steampunks in space. Um, and they get a load of uh, like steampunk retailers and things like that. And they have tea dueling, which is a lot of fun. My friend runs that, it's really cool. Um, not pigs in space, no pigs, only steampunks. Well, if you ever come to Leicester, Tiddus, I'll take you to Space Centre. Um, 
but one of the vendors they had last time we went was a cotton candy vendor and they had like earl grey flavored cotton candy and absinthe cotton candy um and basically all sorts of like steampunk flavors and the absinthe one was fucking lush okie dokie rocket you take care friend i hope you have a good day um And um, the, the, the purple one that they had was like Palmer Violet flavour. I really like Palmer Violet, so that was great for me. I know a lot of people think they just taste like soap. Mmm. It, it really, really was. I've only ever had pink cotton candy. Oh, I'm sorry, Dammy. Yes, Grox, yes it is. Um... It's also the space center where they have a statue of, uh, of um, Yuri Gagarin outside. Which is really fucking cool. Violets are nice though. Yes, yes they are, Ash. Palmer Violet flavor, God, that's dangerous. Yes. I fucking love Palmer Violets. I mean, I can't eat too many of them because my face goes all funny, but I really like them. Oh, and I'm sorry if you can hear people mowing their lawns in the background because it's a lovely day so everyone's getting out in their gardens and doing the gardening except for me because I did it yesterday so that I could spend my entire bank holiday playing ESO I have priorities okay keep your eyes peeled it's very quiet in here am I allowed to say I have a bad feeling about this that would make two of us. I miss having grass. You can have mine if you want, Ash. Our garden's way too bloody big for us. I mean, he loves it, but there's so much grass. It takes... When the garden's in a, in a healthy state, unlike it was yesterday, it takes an hour to mow the lawn. Um, it took two and a half including breaks yesterday to do um two thirds of it um and it took my mum on her own whilst I was working on Friday um about uh three hours to do the other third of it it takes an entire day to do that lawn when it's grown out it's fucking awful. Oh, thank you for the posture check buff. I'm sitting funky because of the dog. And uh, thank you for the stretch as well. Mm. Oh, you bugger. Everybody else have a quick stretch and check your postures as well. I'm actually a little bit concerned because he's... There we go. The dog was laying on the bottom of me, to uh, me top so I didn't want to move too much in case he uh, forced the wardrobe malfunction apparently we're going to be responsible for the grass in the shared green as the only property with direct access oh i hope it's not too much to look after dmac okie dokie dammy farmers here ass pheasants gosh shot at for walking through a forest what assholes so many types of cotton candy size flavor shape so on oh shit i've just realized so you've got your different cotton candies over here and then you've got cold drinks and hot drinks Wi-Fi is shit. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Grox. Thank you for the scritches for Porthos, Mum Squig. I hope you're doing okay. Hey, RNG, how you doing? Oh my god, Buff, that's horrifying. Farmers scare me. <laughs> Honestly, if the shop was open, this would be a pretty cool place to hang out. What happened here? Cash register is already open, but there's no money in it. Is 
So that's the exit. Cutscene. Uh. <gasps> Spotty, no! I see what you did there, guys. Well done. Everybody? Meet Pavlov's dog. And look, he's fucking called Pavlov and everything. <laughs> well done, Golosso. I'm proud of you. Um, Waffles nearly got mauled by a dog. Damn it. Of course he fucking is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Maybe a bit on the nose. Yes, it is very definitely on the snout, isn't it? Who are you? What? Who are we? You just attacked us! Really? I'm so sorry. I don't remember anything. Where am I? You're in an abandoned cotton candy shop here in Cat Town. Hmm. I don't understand. I'm Inspector Waffles, and this is Sniffer Dog Spotty. Spotty, are you okay? Ah, yeah, I'll be fine. You plan on attacking us again, sir? No, no, of course not. My name is Pavlov. I'm not from Cat Town. But I came here on business. Uh, yeah, uh, Spotty got um, smacked out of the way and he got hit against the wall. I thought he'd been knocked out and I was like, oh no, the baby! Protect the baby! Because um, Spotty is the best boy. He's like gone full splat on my lap. <laughs> uh, best boy fictional. Is that the Academy Award uh, title for it? Of course the uh, Academy Award for best boy in general goes to this one. Because otherwise I'll never um, hear the end of it. Will I? Screamer. And what brought you to this abandoned candy shop in a rundown part of town? I couldn't tell you, Inspector. Truthfully, my memory is all a blur right now. Alright, just take it easy. We're going to get to the bottom of all this. Well, he made a bit of a mess, didn't he? Um... I'm tempted to ring the bell, but I think that's a bad idea. At least Porthy Boy doesn't have cat abilities. What kind of cat abilities? Cuz, um... <laughs> Save first, then do it. Oh, do you think this is one of those situations where we could actually die? Just in case. Oh, yeah, um... Porthos does actually do things like that, Ash. He doesn't sink his claws into me because he can't do that, really, but... Um, he does use me as a climbing frame. Uh... Unfortunately. Okay. Hey Tempest, how you doing? Spotty, did you ring the bell when you got up? Yeah, by accident! I think it's more than a coincidence that Pavlov stopped attacking us when the bell rang. Do you want me to ring it again? No, 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 no. 
Fair enough. <laughs> Waffles is smart enough to know better than to get himself killed. <laughs> oh, okay. Won't touch it. That was a close call. Oh, devil take this infernal hay fever. Excuse me a second, folks. Yeah, they, they, they could have called him um, Yvan, and that would have been less on the nose than just calling him Pavlov. Spotty, you going to listen to Waffles? You should be your own dog and press it. Damn, why does everybody want Waffles dead all of a sudden? Bloody hell, he's not Patches. I know you're not feeling well, but I need to ask you some questions. Are you okay to proceed? Yes. Go ahead. Can you tell me the last thing you remember? I own a car dealership. I buy large vehicles from here in Cat Town and resell them to the big dogs like me in my hometown. I have a contact here, a dog. Always sells me cars for cheap. No idea how he's making money from it. But there's a catch. What kind of catch? I have to eat dinner with him every time I visit. Oh, that's a little weird, I guess, but not terrible. Well, before every meal, I'd have to answer various questions. Most were simple enough, and I'd get free food, or contact signatures as a result. I never raised any red flags for you? Not really. At the end of the meal, I'd eaten good food and received the contracts I came for. The situation was a little unusual, but those things often become normal to us before long. Thank you for the scritches for Porthos Tempest. Uh, yeah, my sunburn's feeling fine. I uh, put some after sun. Yeah, I've got it here, actually, just in case. Um, aloe vera gel um, on it um, when I found out about it. Because I didn't notice it. Um, Slow saw me as I turned around. I was just like, oh my god, you've got sunburn. Get after sun now. Um, if he hadn't said that, I wouldn't have noticed it at all. Um, but I also found my sunscreen this morning. So I put a liberal application of sunscreen on before I walked Porthos. Um... Because it's not, it's not affected my arms or anything like that. It's just my shoulders because I don't normally have them exposed. And a little bit on my chest as well. Okie doke, Titus. I reckon this other dog's using Pavlov here as a cleaner unwittingly. Yeah, I think so as well, Titus. Um, but yeah, so my, my sunburn's fine. Um, what normally happens when I uh, get any kind of burn like that is um, it'll brown up in a couple of days' time. So I might just have a really nice tan soon. Unlikely, but we'll see. Anyway. But the last memory I have is meeting him here in Cat Town. After that... There's nothing until meeting both of you. Oh, shit. Thank you for the scritches for Porthos Elysium. How you doing? Give him a quick pet. Okay. Do you have a name or any info you can share about your contact? Ah, is that the, the picture of Vincent Price carrying... A, a literal armload of cats because that is a fucking brilliant tweet if 
it wasn't great enough that it's got Vincent Price in it. It's also got loads of cats in it. He called himself Ghost. He is a dog. Always wore a hat. Sometimes he'd have another dog with him since he didn't talk a lot. Oh yeah, Vincent Price is fucking awesome. Was fucking awesome. Apparently a very, very sweet man, but just perpetually creepy. I'm okay with that. Wholesome creepiness is uh, definitely my bag. Hmm. I doubt Ghost is his real name. Do you think he can help us find out who he is? Actually just me. Yep, that's fair. Of course, Inspector. Great! We'll go to the police station soon, but I've some other questions to ask first. Are you comfortable? He just buried his nose in my lap. Which is not particularly comfortable for me, I've got to admit. So you mentioned he'd had some memory loss. When was your last meeting with Ghost? This past Saturday. Hmm. So, four days ago. And everything since then, you don't have any recollection? It's... I don't know. Just a big flash of light. And then nothing. Hello, Kian. How you doing? Okie dokie buff, you take care friend. Thank you for popping in today. I'm glad you're feeling a bit better. I'm thinking that's possible, Dammy, yeah. Or... Oh no, Kian, gentle hugs for your back. Um, I think it's possible that Pavlov is related to the case in a bigger way than... Waffles is currently letting on that he knows. Yay, Kian! That's good. Um, it could well be that the same trick that's being used on Pavlov is being used on whoever killed Fluffy. I'm slowly remembering every character's name and we're going to get to the end of the fucking game and I won't need to remember them anymore. Be fucking typical, won't it? Hmm. Do you remember attacking us and why you suddenly stopped? Not at all. But this is when I came to. I've got a hunch. Spotty rang the bell inadvertently. As soon as he did that, you reverted to your normal self. End of the game. Who the fuck is Fluffy? I know, right? <laughs> the bell, you said? Yeah, why? You know, when I talked about my meeting with Ghost, he always kept a bell with him. He'd ring it several times while we were talking or eating. Strange, right? So, any time you answered a question, signed a contract, whatever, he'd ring the bell? Yes, exactly. I think he was conditioning you to get inside your mind, Pavlov. You think so? That's... I don't understand. How do you know? Hey, Prime B. How you doing? <laughs> no! What a shock! <laughs> Want me to ring the bell to confirm your theory? Do not touch that bell for any reason, Spotty. Oh, sorry. You got it. We can't be 100% sure, but I don't want to take the risk and put you through any more stress. After what's happened these past few days, anything could happen. Speaking of, I've got another question for you. 
We are currently investigating two murders. They've both occurred within the last four days, while you've been out of sorts. We know both murders were committed by a big animal. To be frank, you fit the description. How is that? I'm not a murderer, and I'm not the only large dog here in Cat Town. It's not just about appearance. There's something else. Oh, okay. Uh, hmm. It shouldn't be that. Maybe that one? Press it, Spotty, you know you want to- God damn it, Dammy! Don't kill the main character off! <laughs> That's okay, Tidders. Good luck with, um... Um... Your, your troubleshooting. And I'm sorry to hear that you're having, um... Leg Rebellion after mowing the lawn, Prime B. I know that feeling all too well. Uh... Let's try that one. Nope. Okay. Hmm. Do we have... Nope. Do you mind? Where's Porthos? He's fine. He's uh, sleeping, as you can just sort of see on the camera. Being super clingy. He is baby. Yes, he is. Big baby. Um, I mentioned this on Discord server uh, the other week. I was in a meeting and he was screaming because he wanted to uh, sit on my lap. And I ended up with him cradled in my arms, rocking my chair backwards and forwards like he was a baby so that he would go to sleep whilst I was in this meeting. It's a good job my boss is really chill about that kind of stuff. Um... Honestly, no idea what I'm supposed to be using here. <laughs> I'm the big boss around here and you will hold me like a baby. Yeah, basically. <sighs> Any ideas, folks? Because I am literally just going through everything now. No, I did that one already. Because I already clicked that one and it didn't work. Yeah. Hmm. I'll ask later. We should get away from this bell just to be safe. <laughs> That's a no on the pressing the bell, okay? So, we've already said that. You fit the description. Not just about appearance, it's also something else. I must not have what I need. I'm gonna, I'm gonna phone me, ma'am. 
Not like that, I'm not. Where am I? Yeah, there. Mother! Yeah. <laughs> Which, for all cat owners, you know, sounds more like Come on, Mum. Hello? Hey, Mum. It's me. My little waffles! How are you doing, sweetie? <laughs> Mummy, I need help. Yeah, exactly. My baby do scream. Yeah. I mean, he does that as well. But it's a doggy scream rather than a kitty scream. Sounds like a fucking air raid siren. I'm fine, Mum. Just wanted to ask you about something. Did you ever wash that jacket I saw you wearing? No, not yet. Now, Waffles, you know better. I've never seen that jacket not be dirty and wrinkled. It's almost like you sleep with it on. Shit, I've been rumbled. I... Can you help me on my case? Of course, sweetie. Do you think Pavlov could be the killer we're looking for? Yes, dear, I think it's possible. He's a large dog, very burly. See how easily he tossed the chairs and tables around? He could easily throw a cat like Fluffy with little effort. Thanks, Mum. Always, dear. I had to look at the table, I guess. Pavlov has almost superhero strength. He could have killed us if he'd gone any further. There we go. I had to look at the fucking table. That was all I needed. Yes, Ash. Waffles' mum is the greatest detective ever known in Cat Town. And is also clearly some sort of eldritch being. Plot twist, the M stands for mother. Yes. Seriously, you hadn't mentioned any of that. Is she behind this? <laughs> Your mother was an oblivion card. Yes. Waffles' mother is Catwoman. Well, she is a cat. And she seems to identify as a woman. So, yes. Crime detection superpower. Halt, you have violated the law. Indeed. <laughs> oh, you lot of fucking fab <sighs> we got lucky spotty could have been seriously hurt and i could have died okay let's try that again with the correct bit of information waffles mum is true villain i hope she's not I hope it gets to the end of the game and we actually get to see Waffles' mum and she like comes in and saves us from something. That would be really funny. How else is our villain keeping tabs on Waffles? Fair point. Does that mean that if you go through the entire game without asking for help from your mum even once, then you can win the game, but any other time you can't? Oh, that'd be evil. That'd be delightfully evil. If nobody's ever done that for a point-and-click adventure game, somebody needs to do that. <laughs> evil and a really good twist. It, it, it's a, a, a truly evil game mechanic that I would totally do if I had any competency in building these kind of games. It's arguable if I have competency in playing them, let alone uh, making them myself. Uh, okay. Okay, we've already said that bit, so... It's not just about appearance. There's something else. The killer threw one victim through a window made of strength and glass. The other victim was crushed against the wall. Only an animal with immense strength could have done those things. Someone as strong as Snow Tiger, that vigilante superhero from a long time ago here in Cat Town. When you were fighting us, there was no way we could have subdued you. 
Uh oh. Okay, you haven't lost audio, but I have. <laughs> Thanks, headphones. Hang on a sec. There we go. I heard the music stop and thought, shit, it's broken again, hasn't it? Even five of us wouldn't have been enough. Inspector, please. I could have been anyone. It could have been anyone else. I absolutely despise violence. I understand that, but believe me, most res residents of Cat Town are small cats like me. It would be very difficult to find another animal here of your strength and stature. Was that your stomach? I just felt something vibrate on my leg. My phone is here. I think his belly just burbled. Ah well, he seems alright. He is hungry. I fed him before the stream! Oh! What the... The fuck happened there? Sorry about that, folks. Yeah, and? Yeah, fair point. And you attacked us on sight. Now that you've got your wits about you, and we're talking with you, I wouldn't so confidently believe you to be a suspect. But believe me. I thought we were going to die here. I'm sorry about that. Truly. I don't know what's happening to me. Oh, poor Pavlov. I feel really bad for him. Could you imagine that? Yeah, I I I'm with you there, Prime B. I feel really bad for him. Like, I know there is a group of people who are very fond of the idea of hypnosis, but not this kind. This is this is cruel. Oh, it would cheer him up, pressing that bell. I don't think it would, Dammy. I think you're wrong there. <laughs> I think it would cheer you up. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Prime B. I feel really bad for him. I'm just curious. Have you been staying here the last four days? I think I remember briefly moving to different places a few times. That's as much as I can tell, though. No idea where, exactly. Good morning, No Plan. How you doing? Probably end up in a correctional mental health facility. He'll probably end up in, um... Casa Chinchilla, was it? Where Pancakes is. Um... I mean, I know that's supposed to be for service animals, but, um, I think... An exception could be made for this poor fellow. I'm pretty sure most of my time was spent here. Not moving, but guarding something. There isn't really anything to guard here, as far as I've seen. The place is empty. Because you were protecting someone, not something. How do you know? Uh, nope. Pavlov is the Winter Soldier. He kind of is, isn't he? Casa Chinchilla is actually quite nice. Yeah, it's um. It's a recovery hospice for um, cats and dogs injured in the line of duty, and they've got quite a few, um, quite a few animals in there who've um, had quite severe um, mental trauma. 
on, on the job. Like Pancakes, who, you know, nearly fucking died. Um, really, I feel like Waffles should be at least an outpatient with them at the minute, because he's got some trauma to work through. Okie doke, Dammy. Uh... Is this going to be another situation where I don't have the thing I need? Oh, actually. No, okay. Uh... Mm. Yeah, I think this is a, another I don't have the thing I need, isn't it? I'm just going to go through everything in the hopes of finding it, though. Just in case. Awesome, Dammy. I hope it's something cool. Yeah, no, that wasn't going to be it. Yeah, I don't... I'm missing something. Yeah, I fucking am. Uh... Can you smell anything in here? It still smells like cotton candy. But the odour was stronger in the other room. Okay. Um. Are we just going to leave him there whilst we go and do more investigation? Still waiting on a Hero Forge package I ordered in April. Oh gosh, Kian. Um, I know there's been a lot of issues getting things uh, shipped in from Europe and the States. Um, because of everything that's going on. <laughs> Leave him there, go get some cotton candy. You smell anything in here? Of course! The sweet scent of cotton candy! Right. So how do we explain the smell? But there's not a trace of candy in the room. Oh. Oh! I got it. Do you know what it means? Um... Invisible cotton candy? No, not invisible food. There's a secret room hidden somewhere in the shop. Awesome! I love secrets! We need to look around for a hidden passage or trapdoor in this room. Okay, let's fuck around with the cash, cash register, maybe? Nope. Uh, look at the menu. Nope. Eh? I'm going to pretend that that makes sense. Oh, it's slightly darker there. I thought it was a shadow. Is this a trapdoor? Let's see. Aha! A cellar hidden beneath the shop. <laughs> Don't you go in that trapdoor, Waffles. <laughs> That's where the smell's coming from, Inspector. Oh yeah, definitely. Even I can smell it. Stay here with Pavlov. I'm going alone. Oh, because that ain't dangerous at all. It's a trap door. I think I have a thing for that. Hang on. Oh, no, I can't because the dog's sleeping in front of my keyboard. Get in the hole, Shinji. I mean waffles. Awesome. Glad to hear it, Titters. Don't leave me alone too long, like you did back at the Maple Market, I mean. Oh no. We've traumatised Spotty. He's going to have abandonment issues now, and it's our fault. Because we left him outside the maple market for an entire fucking day whilst we chased a cult oh dear god titters yes there have been a couple of typos in this game um but i'm willing to let them slide um
Hey, you lot voted for it. <laughs> Typos, did I write this game? Um, actually, if I'm not mistaken, the company behind it are either Italian or possibly French. Um, so I suspect it's um, just accidents when translating things. I think French, yeah. They're, they're definitely either French or Italian. I think they are French, yeah. But they're a small, small crew as well. Like, every single time I go live with Inspector Waffles, they thank me on Twitter for playing the game, which is really sweet. They're a lovely bunch. <laughs> And when I played the demo during um, the Steam uh, demo festival thingy, they actually um, joined the stream and gave me some hints and tips on how to get through the demo. Um, they're a re really lovely bunch of folks. So yeah, I, I can quite happily ignore typos as long as they don't trip me up when I'm reading stuff. It's fine. And I caught that one before I read the sentence. Unlike the one in the platypus scene. <laughs> I won't, Spotty. I promise. Well, we're going in that trapdoor. <laughs> Aha. Uh -huh. This is where all the sugar and ingredients are stored. Hey Hans, how you doing? Oh, that's interesting. Well, good luck with your hunting, friend. Oh my god! Everybody look! Look! It's the beach. But this room seems to have some secrets as well. What's that hooked on the wall? Okay. Let's see what else we've got to look at before we go to the obvious clue in the middle of the scene. Uh, there's a bed. Someone is sleeping here? But if it isn't Pavlov, it means we've got another cotton candy shop resident on our paws. Uh, okay. The smell is strong in here, even to me. It's like I'm standing inside a piece of candy. I'd be okay with that. I'd eat my way out. Bags of sugar, bottles of flavouring. Patches would be waist deep in sugar heaven if he were here. Oh god, can you imagine? It's a blueprint for some gadget. No idea what it's supposed to do. Yoink! Nobody will notice that's gone. Certainly doesn't look like anything related to making cotton candy though. Better take it for a closer look. We're totally going to be giving that to Pixel and Pixel's going to be like, Oh yeah, it's a thingamabob that does this thing. Oh gosh, no one tell Patches this will be where he dies of ra rapid onset diabetes. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. But I think that's supposed to be a carton of milk, but it looks like a bottle of bleach and that makes me very nervous. Food. It's food for Pavlov. Or someone else. Okay. Could be milk flavoured bleach. Ugh. Pixel will unleash the Star Trek techno babble. Yeah, exactly. Oh, hello, Porthos. Oh no, going back to sleep. Never mind. False alarm. It's a photo of a beach. Almost like a backdrop for photographs. But why? I feel like I've seen this beach before. Do, 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 do. 
comparing it to the Polaroid, the background and this photo are exactly the same. Incredible. This must mean... The Polaroid was a fake? But why? I should have examined it more closely from the start. Better late than never, I suppose. This is why you have a technician who's trained in analysis of questioned documents, including photographs. You're not supposed to do it yourself, Waffles. Bleach flavoured milk. Ugh. Could be milk flavoured milk. It could be milk flavoured milk in a bleach bottle. Or it could be bleach flavoured bleach in a milk bottle. This cat. I've seen him somewhere. No. No way. This is the dead cat from yesterday. Why did I not notice this before? Inspector! Everything okay? Uh, yes. Sorry for yelling. Everything is fine. I took a closer look at the photo, and it was edited. They put this poor cat's face over the beach background. The poster, camera, computer. Everything could have been here in this room. Yeah, they are terrifyingly large, aren't they, Tempest? Um, <laughs> everything's bigger in America. I just don't understand why. It's clear they were planting fake evidence to steer the investigation in the wrong direction. What would they have been using the Polaroid for? I get it now. The Polaroid is nothing more than a ruse. They wanted me to believe the Polaroids are the MO. I'm gonna have to talk to Patches about all this. Won't be easy regaining his trust with a story like this, but I have no choice. Maybe Pavlov can help us understand what's going on here. Just a thought, folks. Patches and Pixel are currently guarding Maple because Maple showed up in one of these post uh, in one of these Polaroids. So who's the real target? Yeah, exactly, Titters. Oh my god, what if Maple's behind it all? It, it, if Maple's behind it all, then... Then everybody's guarding Maple so that his opposition is completely open for being taken out because Maple's losing the election. Hey, Agent Sinister! Don't mind me, I'm just... Um, Doing my conspiracy board thing back here. <laughs> oh, congratulations, Val. I hope it's all working. Just got in from giving blood. Vampires will be happy. Nice one, Sinister. Uh, I'm not allowed to give blood, but um, if I could, I would. But good on you. I wonder if I'm right. I'll be really, really chuffed if I'm right. Cannot give my Vitae. I mean blood. <laughs> oh gosh, Val. Sorry to hear that. It's always unfortunate when things like that happen. Blood rules are very, very strict, yeah. Um, I can't give blood because both of my parents had conditions or have conditions that um, make my uh, blood not necessarily palatable, <laughs> basically. 
Um, my family history is so fucking messed up that it's just safer if I don't. <laughs> I'm so queer, me blood is cisphobic. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Uh, possibly Ash. I don't know. <laughs> nice one, Dammy. Okay. Someone to protect. I'm just curious. Have you been staying here the last four days? I think I remember briefly moving to different places a few times. That's as much as I can tell, though. No idea where exactly. I'm pretty sure most of my time was spent here, not moving. But guarding something. There isn't really anything to guard here, as far as I've seen. The place is empty. Because you were protecting someone, not something. How do you know? Oh. Porthos, do you mind? You great big baby. You're lucky you're cute. <sighs> oh. Will you settle down, sweetheart? Please. Ugh, that's a no. You going? Bye bye. <sighs> My dog, everybody. Where the fuck was I? <sighs> uh... There's a cellar hidden under a trapdoor. I found food and a bed there. He's a glorious bean. He is, but he's also a pain in the ass. Someone was living there, hiding from something. Who do you think it was, Inspector? Unfortunately, the first cat that comes to mind is a high-ranking gangster. Pavlov, do you happen to remember a white cat? I'm not sure exactly. Maybe? The cat or dog who hid here. They must have been planning something. I know you don't remember much very clearly, but anything you can think of could be useful. If I may, Inspector, do you know what they were planning to do? Uh... I found this blueprint, but I've no idea what it's all about. Can I have a look at it? I've studied a few car part diagrams in my time. Maybe I can piece something together. That would be great. It's all just pixels to me. Here you are. Was that a, a teeny tiny fourth wall break right there? Okay, that's not so bad, I guess, Ash. Okay, thanks. Ah, hmm, okay. This is a design schematic for a strange laser device. It uses a jewel as an energy source. A jewel for an energy source? That sounds like something you'd find in a movie. To what end? I don't know, but I can tell you I spotted a box furniture logo. Perhaps something for commercial use? Box furniture, you said? So this has got to be related to Fluffy's death somehow. <gasps> oh, 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 okay. So Fluffy stumbled onto something that was being done through box furniture that shouldn't have been. And Maple had him killed. That's what I'm thinking. 
Mr. Freeze's ice gun from Batman and Robin. Lightsaber. Yeah. Could be anything, couldn't it? But yeah. That's what I'm thinking. I'm I'm thinking that Fluffy learnt something he shouldn't have learnt. Yeah, yeah. Possibly Tidders. Oh, this is very exciting. I I I need to do the like proper conspiracy board thing on my door at some point, don't I? There are some handwritten notes on there as well. So I'm guessing it won't be used for its initial purpose. Ooh, 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 ooh. Stolen tech. St -st Stolen tech. I'll never be able to figure out what it all means. <laughs> Seen as P's on his bed, I can shut the door properly. I, I totally could, couldn't I, Ash? But I've got somebody back at the station who can figure it out from here, so no worries. Oh, Pixel! I appreciate your help. Of course. And it's strange, Inspector. I have the feeling I've seen this plan before. I found the blueprint in the cellar. Are you ever down there? I don't believe so, no. I'm not fully understanding how you could remember the blueprint. It's like I said, there was a bright flash of light and then I think I saw the blueprint. Maybe a well-dressed cat? I didn't catch his face. Welcome back, Dammy. Enjoy your pizza, friend. <laughs> That'd be wicked, Ash. It was very brief. Just a couple of seconds. Do you have any ideas what the flash of light could have been, Inspector? Uh, okay, I'm gonna try giving him the Polaroid. Nope, okay. So perhaps this. Yeah, okay. I knew it was going to be one of the Polaroid things. There's a camera in the cellar. The flash may have been from taking a photo. Yes, that's it. I can see it. There was the flash of a camera. And then briefly, I could see my surroundings. The blueprint, the room, and then nothing again. But why would they want a picture of me? You want the truth? Please, yes. Whatever you can share. We found the same style of picture on a dead body. The exact same background as the poster in the cellar. Oh. Yes. I think they were using you for your strength. But that when they were done, you became useless to them. I understand what should i do now come with us to the police station you'll be safe there and i need you to understand something i can't accuse you of murder but after what happened here it would be best for everyone's safety if we hold you at the station until we can figure things out <sighs> i appreciate your honesty inspector I'll come with you. I don't want to harm anyone again. Oh, Pavlov, sweetie. Okay, I love Spotty. Spotty is best boy. But Pavlov is way up there. I just want to cuddle him. And tell him that everything will be okay. And make sure he never has to hear another bell ever again. Thanks for your cooperation, Pavlov. No, Dammy. <laughs> Bad Dammy.
let's just hope I can get Patches to trust me again. Hello? Patches? Nope, it's Peanut. Patches is off somewhere again. Do you know where? Maple's Tower, along with every squad in the city. Really? That doesn't seem like a good idea. Anyway, I'm bringing someone in. Can you guard him? Yes. I'll find somebody to do that. Don't worry, Waffles. Thanks. On our way. Oh, okay then. Waffles, what are you doing here? We have an emergency, Chief. I know. That's why I'm in Maple's Tower. Hi, Inspector. Oh, good to meet you, sir. I'd like to talk with you about what happened under a Maple Market I visited yesterday. But I have something even more pressing to discuss with the Chief. I really hope the Market thing wasn't your emergency. Not even close, Chief. It's about Fluffy's case. I told you already that you're off that case. I know, but events just sort of fell into our laps. Right, Spotty? It's true. You too, Spotty. I really hope the two of you understand the severity of what you've done. Yeah, we get it. You'll punish us afterwards if you think it's necessary, understood? But for now, we need to explain what we found. Yes, Ash, yes it is. Um, we noticed that last week and uh, collectively just sort of went, oh, best reference ever. Pixel's wicked. We love Pixel. I'm listening. What is it you've discovered, Waffle? Discovered? Discovered? Discovered, Waffles. The true suspect behind Fluffy's murder. Hmm. Tell me more. Just before coming here, we took a big dog to the station. Name's Pavlov. And you think he could be the murderer? Well, at least from a physical sense, he could be the one. What does that mean, exactly? Pavlov is very strong. Strong enough to throw a large cat through a window. He doesn't have an alibi for the time Fluffy was murdered. And he tried to kill us! Well, yeah. And that. So I'm curious how two skinny animals like you could arrest such a big dog all on your own. I won't even bother telling you because you're not going to believe us anyways, but let's just say we were very lucky. Lucky, hmm? Please don't make a fool of yourselves again, Inspector. Even my patience has its limits. How exactly did you find this dog? In an abandoned cotton candy shop, Chief. And why were you in an abandoned cotton candy shop? We... were... following a lead on Fluffy's case. The same case I ordered you to cease working on. Yes, I know that but something so unbelievable happened this morning that I had to check for myself. And what was that? Uh, is that where we start this conversation? No, okay. Things have happened so long ago for me, but so recently for Waffles. It's so difficult. Yeah, that was my next step. Nope. Uh... Porthos! Stop screaming at the world outside, please, mate. It's very distracting. Uh... <laughs> yeah! That's exactly how I feel right now, Ash. Um... Nope. Is it the Polaroid? Nope. <sighs> ah! 
the DNA confirmation, of course, because that happened before we went to visit Pancakes. And that all technically happened yesterday. Right, okay, okay, okay. God, that was a while ago. <laughs> Here, have a look for yourself. See, these are the results of the DNA analysis we ran on the hair from Fluffy's house. We got a match on it. Let me take a look. Snowball? How is that possible? Pixel, these are the results from your DNA analyzer. Yep, uh, looks to be the case, but how did you get into my office, Waffles? You know I don't want anyone in there when I'm not around. Um, that doesn't matter now, Pixel. <laughs> To be honest, I didn't intend on it. The machine's alarm was buzzing so loud I had to check. Just don't do it again, okay? I promise. Anyways, I guess you verified that Snowball is still in prison? You know me well, Chief. And yes, he's still there. So it's pretty obvious the DNA result is incorrect. Machine is broken, I guess. Actually, I don't think so. Your lead took you nowhere. Look where my lead got us. Oh my god, Patches, don't be a dick. What lead? This morning we found a cat dead in the street, bashed against the wall. Inspector, you think it's the cat we fat? Don't overthink it. Let Patches finish his story. Oh, sorry. So, about that dead cat. All right, I found a Polaroid next to the body, just like the one you found on Fluffy. And guess what? The Polaroid you found was Picture of Marmalade, the dead cat from this morning. So in summary, the Polaroids are the killer's calling card. Ah, Chief, I'm sorry to say this, but you're completely wrong. Is that so, Smarty Pants? Why is that? Because I found a setup in the cellar of the cotton candy shop that indicates the Polaroids were staged. The background of the Polaroids is just a poster on a wall. There's no beach, no story behind it. But why? I'm going to guess Maple was on the Polaroid you found at the last crime scene, right? And you brought all available units here to protect him. Yeah. Exactly what I was afraid of. I have a feeling Maple isn't the target at all. We were right. <sighs> I have to say, I'm relieved to hear that. Something is wrong here. Patches. You need to let all the pol <laughs> You need to let all the police cats and dogs get back to their regular patrols. That isn't all, Chief. I'm afraid we've got another problem that's gonna need to be handled quickly. You found something else in the cotton candy shop? Exactly. Uh that one? No. Nope. Oh, the other one. There we go. Hidden in the cellar, there was this blueprint on the wall. Hmm. What is this? Can't make sense of it. Pavlov told me it's a design schematic for some sort of laser device powered by a jewel or something. Unless this is what the killer wanted Waffles to realise, so they'd take all the protection away from Maple and Maple is actually the target. Oh my god, do you think this is a, a fucking... A, another double bluff? That would be delightfully evil. And the purpose of the laser? We haven't figured that out. Any hunches? I think Snowball is behind this, and that he's got something big planned. I'm just hoping he hasn't built this machine yet. If that's true... I hope the same. Pixel, can you take a look at it? Finally, something interesting to do. Yes. Triple agents. Delightfully devilish, indeed. 5D chess. <laughs> yeah, it's very fucking 5D chess. Layers on layers on layers. It's like an onion. Oh, those fuckers are here now. Hey, what are you doing here? Yeah. What's happening here? Jeez. <coughs> oh, sorry. Um. Rex and Rocks are here. Does everyone have something to share with me today? <laughs> a lot, 
a lot like going to the ending of an Agatha Christie novel. A little bit. Everybody's fucking here. Are we just gonna do a fucking Columbo now? Yeah, but you don't eat an onion layer by layer. You take a big bite out of it like an apple. Yeah, fair. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so Porthos has given up on his bed and looking out the window and is now sat directly under my chair. Sorry, folks. Lungs have um, gone into the rebellious mode. Hey, Fever. Yay. Thank you for the treat for Porthos, Torpor. Which he didn't even bother to try catching. I take bites out of crime like I take bites out of an onion. I don't. Oh dear, Prime B. Big hugs. Chief Patches, can you tell me why you have police surrounding this location? Yeah, Chief. Are you crazy or something? Not at all. Agents. We investigated a crime scene this morning and we found evidence we believed indicated Maple was the next target of a serial killer. As a mayoral candidate in the public eye, he clearly needed extra protection. Hmm. I guess that was a smart thing to do. What do you think, Rex? Yeah, smart thing to do, but unfortunate timing. The city museum was just robbed. I think we found our gem. What? That cannot be a coincidence. Camera's got footage of two dogs in the act. We've identified them as Chance and Pepper. I recognise... Yeah, I, I recognise those names. Haven't we met Pepper? Welcome back, Rocket. Did you have a good time? Pepper was one on the board at the start. Oh, shit. Okay. On Waffles' is crime board. Yeah. Fuck. Chance was as well, actually, now I think about it. Oh. We know those too well. What did they steal? Just one item from a recently obtained collection. Let me guess. A large jewel? Uh, yeah. Huge ruby. How did you know? <sighs> you understand what this means, Chief? That we were in big trouble? Exactly. You all won't be investigating the heist. We'll be taking over that investigation. Consider yourselves lucky we don't tell your superiors what kinds of mess you've all been making. It's appreciated, agents. We're leaving now. Think it's best you all leave as well. Finally. Not that I don't enjoy your company, but I have a significant debate tomorrow and we're scheduled for a policy review. Oh, I completely forgot about the debate. Best of luck, Mr. Maple. Good day to you all. Good news, Chief. Pavlov has been cured. I took a... It took a bit, but he's successfully been de-hypnotised. Great work, Morty. Was he able to recognise the dogs he met? with when he showed when you when we showed him photos we showed him an array of pictures of some of the most high profile crooks in cat town and he picked chance and pepper without skipping a beat those two again we really shouldn't be surprised by now this only confirms what i suspected snowball and his partners in crime are planning something big pavlov marmalade fluffy the ruby the fake cult. All these things are linked somehow. What's the next step for you both? We found a blueprint and are trying to understand exactly what it's a blueprint for. Pixel is still studying it, but I think he's making steady progress. Understood. For now, I'll get back to Pavlov. Good luck, you guys. Pavlov. 
Pavlov's fine, excellent news. Just no one tell him to drop anything, yeah? Mm. Any progress with the blueprint? Yeah, Pavlov was exactly right. It's a laser device. First one of its kind I've ever seen. Beautiful design. Powered by a jewel. Notably, the laser's power is determined by the size of the jewel. The larger the jewel, the more powerful the laser. How very James Bond. Okay. So, pretend the jewel is a ruby the size of a wall ball. What then? The laser would be incredibly, incredibly strong, assuming you've got a powerful enough emitter. I don't... I mean, I understand, but I don't think Waffles understands. Can you explain so we... he can understand? Patches, you fucking bellend! Hi, I'm Dr. Death. I'll be attending you today. Indeed. <laughs> yeah, science, bitches. I think I have a science thing. Um, try exclamation mark science. I think I put it in there for mod hail. I do! Yes! <laughs> science! Good to know that Patches isn't actually evil. He is just the biggest idiot in Cat Town. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Patches, more like Pratches. Got him. <laughs> you tried, Tidders. You tried. That movie is fucking strange. Yes, yes, it is. But uh... I think Patches is acting so no one will suss him. <laughs> you did fine, Titters, you did fine. So, let's say the emitter is the diameter of a pen. Please don't make another pen pineapple apple pen um joke. Please, please. <laughs> I can't cope with another one. In that case, it'd be a bottleneck for any jewel larger than that diameter. Basically, choking how much power could get through. But in our case, for the device to operate at full power, we're looking at an emitter much larger than a pen. Oh yeah. More like a cannon, I'd say. Laser cannon. This is going to be a catastrophe. The entire city is going to burn. Maybe not. The original designs for the laser indicate it wouldn't burn or pierce. Box furniture just used it for scanning stuff. But the notes around the perimeter of the blueprint indicate somebody was trying to figure out how to amplify the laser to dangerous levels. But no way to know if they succeeded. And where is this laser? SPACE! Don't tell anyone, but since this is an emergency, I hacked box furniture servers. Yeah, you fucking did, Pixel, because you're a legend. That definitely breaks like a thousand different protocols. Really wish you hadn't done that, but I guess the ends justify the means. Did you find anything of note? Nice work, Pixel. Yes! Exactly, Prime V. Hack the big corpo. In Inspector Waffles. Heck yeah, nerd shit! <laughs> Only two cats know about the project. Fluffy and Marmalade. What did I fucking tell you? They knew too much, they got offed. <laughs> Hack the planet! <laughs> Indeed. Uh... And they're both dead now. Snowball thought of everything. The scanner. That's what Marmalade was talking about. He knew his life was in danger. Wait, what? You talked to Marmalade? Um, oh no. Sorry, just confused about something. Anything else, Pixel? The server files say they experimented with the laser in their warehouse, but things went really wrong. Details were already scrubbed though. It's all confidential material. I'm getting Spider-Verse vibes from this. <laughs> <laughs> MI5 hacked. The Pentagon hacked. Box furniture hacked. Statue of Liberty hacked. 
fucking love you lot, you fab. <clears throat> oh, too bad. But there is some good news, maybe. I can assemble a small device to plant near the emitter. It'll jam the laser. Are you sure you can do it? Time is critical. How soon do you need it? Hard to say. Waffles? When would you expect them to use the laser? As soon as possible is the safest guess. They probably already know we found Pavlov. And the blueprint. And they've already killed only the only two at loose ends. Let's assume the next big event in Cat Town could be a target. Hmm, <laughs> what a shame. ASAP, eh? In before Ion Cannon Online, indeed. Like a debate? Yeah, exactly, Dammy. Wouldn't that be something with the election? There are posters all over town. I bet you're right, Spotty. Forget all about that for a second, but when exactly? The debate, guys. It's tomorrow. Am I the only one here who pays attention to politics? Apparently, Pixel. The only politics Patches cares about is the politics of what's going in his stomach next. Called it. Yep. That's it. There's our answer. They've had the blueprint for a long time, so we should assume the laser is ready and that they've got no reason to wait. <laughs> it's intense politics. It especially is with Patches. There are many parties and brutal debate, indeed. No, the, I, I've still not been allowed to hack into his um, his desk, because that's what the Morse code's for. It's got to be. Pixel, can you get your jamming device ready by tomorrow? Am I getting paid for the overtime? What? Really? Fine, yes. Get it done. I'll start right away. Good luck. See you tomorrow. I've hoped for everything I desire to eat all. Yep, that's fair to us. Before we go, I want to say something to you, Waffles. Right, well. I should have trusted you. Oh, okay. That's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. All the stories you told, as far-fetched as they were, I shouldn't have doubted what you went through. You're the best inspector on the force, and you've never let me or anybody else down ever before. Don't even worry about it, Chief. This whole thing is bigger than any of us ever expected, and we all fell for the ruse. Yeah, he's got a donut eating contest trophy. <laughs> I'm sorry for being a prat. Yes, exactly, Sinister. <laughs> Remember, kids, always value your labour. Even with the possibility of a fascist firing a death laser, it is competition. <laughs> Beautiful, Ash. Well done. How do you feel about tomorrow? It all depends on Pixel now, but I believe in him. Even if most of his creations fail. Wow, Waffles. Way to give a backhanded compliment. Remember when he wanted to create a time machine? Uh, don't we all? <laughs> that was fun. He really thought he could travel through time. Too bad for him. He's stuck here with us. And I bet that's why he wanted the fucking time machine in the first place, Patches. <laughs> and for now, we shall get some rest. If we're right, tomorrow's going to be a tough day. Good night, Chief. I just got an achievement called Curiosity Killed the Cat with a picture of the bell. I mean, it didn't kill us, thankfully. There it is. Cookie versus Maple. Have you heard about Fluffy's death? Such a tragedy. Of course. We were in the same kin kitten garden. Ugh. Class. Friends since that day. Very sorry to hear that. It's okay, thanks. As sad as it was, it's been a great help to my campaign. Ever since the news broke, my poll numbers have been through the roof. Wow, Cookie. Fucking brutal. <laughs> it's a cynical take, 
but I have to admit, I understand it well. The heist from yesterday has had the same effect. Citizens feel less secure in their homes now. Pictures of them on their posters are going to be burnt into my soul. Yeah, mine too. One thing to note about the posters in comparison to the cats themselves. Look how smiley they are on the posters in comparison to real life. Yes, I assumed that would be the case when I heard what happened. A stroke of fortune indeed. Oh, this is... This is making my skin crawl. <laughs> yes. Anyway, best of luck to the debate. May the best candidate win. Posters can never be trusted. It's some face app stuff. Yeah, it fucking is. That's politics, baby. Yeah, th th this conversation is making my skin crawl. So bad. Yeah. The less dull candidate, you mean? Oh, good one. You're right, sir. It seems they're done with us for her for rehearsal, so I'll be on my way. See you later, Maple. See you later, Cookie. <laughs> Remember in 2008 when I found out Barack Obama wasn't blue and red? It was a blow to my psyche. Never trusted posters since. <laughs> oh my god, he's taken his jacket off. Inspector? Mm -mm -mm. Sorry to wake you, Inspector, but we need to check out the area where the debate is taking place. And Patches is waiting for us downstairs in reception. Mm, okay, okay. <sighs> I'm up now. You mind if I ask you something? Sure, go ahead. No jacket? Must be serious. And he's resting. I know, right? Why do you sleep here? Don't you have an apartment or something? Yeah, I do. So why sleep here? I know cats sleep anywhere, but even for a cat, this desk looks uncomfortable. Oh, I'm sorry, Ash. <laughs> because I can't get to sleep at my place. My bed is comfy, but any time I close my eyes, it's just nightmares and bad memories. Oh, fucking mood waffles. Uh. <sighs> oh, titters, you're not dumb. Never get any sleep when I stay there. It fucking does, doesn't it, Ash? This spot is at least an improvement over that, so I spend my nights here. Ah, well, I appreciate you telling me the truth. Yeah, you bet. Now let's get a move on. We've got bad guys to catch. Just hope Pixel had enough time to finish his contraption. Oh, Ash, I'm so sorry. If it makes you feel any better, it wasn't a completely fake yawn because I also needed to yawn and it was just perfectly timed. And I'm not I'm, I'm not going to say that word again because otherwise I will do it again. Um, I might have to do it again anyway. Oh, no. <clears throat> yeah, just just seeing or hearing the word is enough to set me off sometimes. So I know exactly how you feel, Ash, and I'm very sorry. <laughs> okay. Where the fuck was I? Oh, he's got his jacket back on now. Uh, let's go and see Pixel. Or Pixel can come to us. Waffles, I was coming to find you. What's up? Just finished the jamming device. Here you go. Right, excellent. How does it work exactly? I made it easy for you. Push the red button, give it a second for the program to load itself, and it'll be ready to go. What do I need to plug this into? 
nothing at all. It's got a blue canine chip so It only needs to be in proximity of the laser, not hardwired into anything. This is really impressive! Anything else I need to know? Well, it's not fully tested. I didn't have enough time for that, but I'm confident it'll work as it should. It's gonna catch fire, isn't it? It's gonna fucking catch fire and take the entirety of Cat Town down with it. Uh, Infamous turns 12 today. Fucking hell. I have a question. What is the quality on the Game of Thrones miniatures? Um, do we have anybody in chat that has the Game of Thrones miniatures? Because I don't have them, so I don't know. <clears throat> Smashing the best sort of scratch build tech. Baby elephant. Bothos, come here. Stop screaming, baby. Here's hoping. I guess we don't have any other options. And if it doesn't? Just try to create a short circuit. That always works. You'd probably need a screwdriver for that. You never know. Get one from Patches. He's still got one of mine. Perfect. Thanks, Pixel. You know where I can find him? Call him. Bye bye. I'll have to leave that ajar because he's going to scratch in a sec. Otherwise, waiting for you at reception. It's time for me to get some shut eye. Best of luck, Inspector. Okay, downstairs we go. Finally! Are you two ready to go? Did Pixel drop off the jammer? Yep, I've got it with me. What's the plan from here? You and Spotty will circle the building looking for anything suspicious. Hopefully you'll get lucky and spot the laser. Peanut, myself and the rest of the force will be inside protecting everyone from the laser. Should it activate. We'll approach the building from different routes to attract as little attention as possible. I think we've got a solid plan then. Spotty, you ready? All set! Before we leave, Pixel told me you have a screwdriver that I'll need for the laser. Oh, right. I forgot to give it back to him. Don't think I'll be opening any more grates for a while, so it's all yours. Thanks. We're on our way. Good luck, both of you. Hey, uh, do you remember the first time we drove this road together? <laughs> yeah, of course. It was just a couple of days ago. I need to get something off my fur coat. I was so excited to be working with you, I... Did a poor job of sniffing. My job performance wasn't up to sniff. Uh, I mean stuff. I'm sorry for that. For costing you valuable time on the case. It won't happen again. Don't even worry about it. Just look at what we did with that fake cult nonsense and making... What I did with that fake cult nonsense and making a fool of myself in front of Patches. You kept believing in me. We kept our noses down, trusted our animal instincts and proved everyone wrong. Mistakes are part of the job. Can't expect to be perfect all the time. In the end, you've proven yourself. You made a stubborn cat like me change my mind about how valuable sniffing is to an investigation. Inspector! That means so much! You're one of the nicest cats I've ever met. Bah, forget it. No biggie. Time to focus on the investigation. We're almost there. And if that nose of yours picks up anything unique, let me know. Porthos. Calm down, matey. Hello? Chance. What is taking you so long, my friend? We've already started without you. What? Your car had a blowout on the drive here. How is this possible? You are supposed to be the luckiest dog in the world. A flat tyre? But how can that be? That is the opposite of lucky. Okay, understood. My friend, 
The boss will not be happy that you're late, but I'll let him know. See you soon. Now I have a nervous feeling about in the pit of my stomach. No more lucky charm. <laughs> the smell is coming from this direction. Wait, whose voice is that? That scent. That's how you smelled when you came back to the Maple Market from the cave system. Like tobacco, but... The smell stops here, right in front of that gentle cat. Good to see you again, Waffles. Hey, meatballs. What brings you here? <laughs> He's called Meatballs but isn't pinching his fingers while emphatically shouting down the phone. Hey, turns out Chance was lucky to not get here on time. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Shit, it's the fuzz. <sighs> that is none of your business, little cat. By the way, did you enjoy your perf our performance in the cave? To be honest, the production quality was pretty good. I actually fell for it. It was fun setting you up, my friend. I enjoy the small talk, really. But you mind if we get inside? I see. It is just the two of you. Yep, just us. No, my friends. Is he needing a warrant, Inspector? No. He knows we can't beat him in a fight. He's probably armed, too. That is correct, little cat. We do not want our cordial meeting to get messy. Do not think I forgot about how I used to bully you in Kitten Garden. Wow. I don't like him, Inspector. Me, the Spotty. He's a bell end. I don't like him either, Spotty. He used to absolutely terrorise me when I was a kitten. Smash his face in. It is time for violence. I guess we need to call for backup. No can do. They're all guarding the debate ar uh, arena. But I have another idea. Do not forget how I'm a total asshole. <laughs> nice one. Well done, Kian. Spotty hates something? That didn't seem possible. He didn't say he hated him. Just said he didn't like him. <laughs> oh, look at the time. It's police brutality o'clock. Drop Spotty on him from the top of the building. That seems a bit harsh on Spotty, don't you think? I remember back when we were in school, the only person who could get meatballs to stop picking on everybody was his mum. <laughs> Waffles used Pavlov. It was very effective. <laughs> oh, that's cruel. I love it. Yep, we're going to call Meatballs his mum. We're all afraid of her, but Meatballs even more than us. Just need to find a way to contact her. And you think this is the easiest way into the building? A quiet network of mamas. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to phone my mum to get well, um, Meatballs' mum's phone, phone number. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking, Dammy. It's either this, or we put our paws up. You want to fight him? Not really! I'm a sniffer dog. I was trained to smell, not to fight. Oh, Spotty, you sweetheart. Then we gotta do what we gotta do. And, seeing as it is one minute to two, I'm gonna stop there. <laughs> Kiryu has never killed anyone. Mm. <laughs> Cliffhanger! Okay. Um. I've got to wait until Tillers is ready to go anyway. Yeah, I think next week will probably end up being the last Inspector Waffles session. I decided that I was going to end it on a cliffhanger and not um, try and phone um, Meatballs' mum until next week, Tidders, because it is time for your stream. I take it you're ready. <laughs> Fabulous. Right. In that case, cliffhanger. Um, if anybody wants to enter the raffle, 
you have five, four, three, two, one, and a little pause just because of the delay between me and the stream. And the raffle is closing. Titters, congratulations, you have won a copy of A Year of Rain. <laughs> at last, at long last. It's been like two weeks since you won anything. Calm down. We back, baby. Oh, dear. What are we going to do with her? Right. <clears throat> Thank you very much, everyone, for coming along today. Uh, I know I said it on the stream last night as well, but I'm still... Raider? Yeah, well, there's that too. I can't pay you titters, but I can encourage people to use exclamation mark tip goth to send you a tip. Hint, hint. Um, yeah, thank you everyone that's come along today. Um, I said it on the uh, stream last night as well. I'm not 100% yet. And I was really worried that not being 100% while I'm streaming was going to cause some issues. Um, but you folks just make everything so fucking easy, so thank you. Um, I've had a lot of fun today. Um, I will be back on Wednesday with Hobby Happy Hour, and hopefully I'll be back on Friday next week with, um, more Valhalla. <laughs> Don't drink orange juice after brushing your teeth, that's your tip. Yeah, nice one, Ash. Um, thanks to all the folks that have signal boosted. Uh, to the folks that follow, the folks that subscribe, folks that lurk, folks that chat, um, folks that donate and cheer. I really do appreciate all of you and I'm having a lot of fun doing the whole um, conspiracy board thing in Inspector Waffles with you all so thank you for that as well. Right, uh, we's gonna raid titters. Um, Oh, thank you very much for the treat for Porthos, Mum Squib. I'll uh, just chuck him that now. Boop. <laughs> and he's just not even fucking trying. Um, so, thanks again, everybody. This has been a lot of fun today. It's really perked me up. And hopefully I'll see you for another stream soon. In the meantime... I want you lovely folks to take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Wash your fucking hands. And go hang out with Titters. Okay? Bye bye everybody. Stay hydrated. <laughs>